More than 14,000 people have volunteered to be injected with a little bit of the coronavirus. They're part of an advocacy group trying to help find a vaccine. Jennifer Bellamy joins us with more. Jennifer, everybody wants to see a vaccine here, but not everybody's on board with this process. Very controversial. Yes, Cheryl. It's called the Human Challenge Trial, and it would offer a way to speed up the fight against the coronavirus. But some argue that there are ethical issues that need to be considered. For many, a coronavirus vaccine is the key to getting back to normal life. Under usual circumstances, the path to a viable vaccine can take months or years. But with the COVID-19 pandemic, some have begun pushing for human challenge trials to speed up the process. These types of trials would involve intentionally infecting participants with a mild or medium strength version of virus, possibly man-made to test vaccines. Supporters say it could lead researchers to develop a vaccine months faster, saving thousands of lives. More than 14,000 willing participants have created an advocacy group to see it happen, and 35 bipartisan members of Congress have asked regulators to consider the human challenge trials. But critics point to factors like hospital space and protective equipment, volunteers wanting to leave the study, and the historic perception of these trials, with experiments on captive or disabled populations without consent. What participants would have to give consent, critics also point out there's no widespread agreement on virus treatments, mortality rates, and long-term effects of the virus. The Food and Drug Administration has never allowed a human challenge trial for a new disease without a cure. The FDA said in a statement it could expedite vaccine development, but also raises potential scientific and ethical issues. The administration said it would work with those interested to evaluate those issues. Right now, there are no plans for a human challenge trial here in the United States, but efforts have also started in London and Switzerland to see it happen. The World Health Organization has also released information on how it might be done ethically to uh, make that acceptable for others. Any final decision here in the United States would most likely fall to the FDA.